Quick Tech Quick Tech coming to you here today with a Quick Tech Quick Tech Toonie, where you get $2 worth of my opinions, because two cents don't buy very much anymore. Today, we're talking about a green economy. Let us do a brief review. So Bill Morneau, Canada's former finance minister, spends the entire pandemic playing Justin Trudeau's cool dad, saying, sure, you can buy this, yes, you can buy that, sure, Justy Socks, you can give them that. Bill Morneau, the guy that fucked up his job worse than a half-inch head on a seized bolt that starts to take off with a 14 mil socket and an impact. So this finance minister that forgot to pay half of the tab for his $100,000 wee family vacation finally says to his little sock boy, Hey, Justy, maybe we need to dial the spending back a little bit because we're crashing the economy to the ground faster than a Chipotle pepper turd goes from ass to toilet water the Saturday morning after an all-you-can-eat taco buffet on a Friday night at Willie's the Tavern in Foam Lake. Now, Justy Sox doesn't like getting told no. Now, not only did Morneau tell him no, but Morneau stinks like a dirty taco turd from the Wii scandal still, so Trudeau fires his ass. Oh, sorry, Bill Morneau stepped down. I wish him all the very best in the coming years. <laughs> yeah, good one. And Prime Minister Longstockings appoints Christa Freeland, former journalist, to take his place. You know her, right? Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs and the Deputy Prime Minister that's been running around doing the Sultan of Socks bidding for him while he hides in his palace. Uh, sorry, cottage. Sure you remember her. Her and her bearded Wonder Boy Prime Minister made this statement at the USMCA trade agreement press release. Anybody notice a country missing here? Let me guess, we were on another personal day. <laughs> Heaven forbid we go discuss aluminum tariffs in person. No, let's just keep hiding at home. That'll fix the problem. Anyways, the first thing she decides to say about the restart of our economy is this. The restart of our economy needs to be green. I'm sorry, what? The restart of our economy needs to be green. Checked with Dalton McGinty to see how that worked out between him and Butts in Ontario a little while ago. How do we trigger an economic recovery by pushing the cost of electricity up by 70%? Kind of tough to pay your electricity bill online as you sit in the dark wondering when the wind is going to blow again, hey? Just ask anyone from California. Let's do some fun green economy questions. Green economy question number one. What's the difference between the natural gas well and a wind turbine? When the wind isn't blowing, a natural gas well can still generate enough energy to heat a home when it's minus 40 degrees Celsius. Green economy question number two. What is the difference between an oil well and a solar panel? When it's been cloudy and raining for three days, an oil well still provides enough energy to propel a semi-truck down the highway to deliver the almond milk for your pumpkin spice latte. Third green economy question. What do oil and gas wells generate that wind turbines and solar panels do not? Capital recovery and then a return on investment. That means they pay for themselves and then eventually you make a profit off of them. Listen folks, quick to gain saying we can't continue to invest in green technologies and continue to improve them. But does everybody realize that you can't make any of this green technology without oil and gas? Does everybody realize that we need to generate revenue to start clawing our way out of this $350 billion hole that the Liberals have dug and tossed us into? Solar panels and wind turbines don't generate revenue. A great place to start would be kicking an industry that's responsible for over 10% of our GDP and employs over half a million Canadians back into gear. How about we use what we have at home instead of importing it from Saudi Arabia, Russia, and the US? How about we stop shipping it through the Panama fucking canal and actually build some infrastructure and compete like a country that's got the third largest reserves of natural resources on the planet? The restart of our economy needs to be green. Hey, guess what? It already is green. Like in agriculture, responsibly keeping up with global food demand. Green. 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 Forestry, responsibly keeping up with an exploding demand for lumber. Green. Green. What about the mining side of our economy? Keeping important things coming to the surface like fertilizers, metals, uranium. You know, uranium. Zero emissions baseload technology that ensures that the lights don't go out? Yes, Quick Tick is talking about nuclear technology. And oil and gas, 
green quick dick? Absolutely. The rest of the world should be green with envy, not only by the responsible way that we extract oil and gas here in Canada, but also the amount of it that we could and should get to our coastlines and borders to market to the rest of the world. These are all things that we can accomplish together as Canadians, my friends, but we won't do it with the government that's running this country right now because all that's coming out of Ottawa that's green is, is this, a big load of horse shit. Listen, Quick Dick's toonie is simple. It's that a toonie at a time is how we need to start crawling back out of this massive hole that the Liberals have dug for us. Investing in technology that's going to double the cost of us doing business is not going to do that. Let's get back to what actually makes us a profit in our economy. That is what's going to restart our economy in Canada. We don't need to rebuild this country by spending another hundred billion dollars that we don't have. But each and every one of us needs to work at it and we need to be committed to it. That means you stop putting your hand out for CERB or looking for a universal basic income and start putting your hand up saying I can do that job and pay my own way without depending on a government to do it for me. But that's just how Quick Dick sees it. This is Quick Dick McDick signing off reminding you Canadians can all get this economy going together, just not with energy that relies on the weather. We'll catch you next time.